Lives for campers is very stressful. What? Lives, the life of a camper, if you're just out camping all the time, it's very, very stressful. I mean, because the whole time it's just intense. That's fine, just unsubscribe. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid ranks. It's Eddie, I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, it's Twitter, 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 Twitter,
Honestly, it's correct. How it is? How it is? And it's not just the guys, even women are confused about this. This is shocking. I, I spoke to a married friend of mine the other day and she said, Daniel, isn't 80% of all sex in the marriage rape? <laughs> what? I immediately called her husband. I went, Tambe! <laughs> okay, Bhabi ke saath kya kya? <clears throat> and then I asked her and she said, See, the thing is, wives don't always want to have sex with the husbands, you know, but the husbands still convince them to do it. But we didn't really want to do it, so. <laughs> A lot of men are panicking right now, aren't you? Like, these guys especially, right? I'd say, I'm going to go to Happy birthday, good night. Like. But guys, there's the thing, right? This is not marital rape, right? I checked, I spoke to a couple of lawyers just in case. And, and this is what they said to me, right? Uh, there's a law about this. According to section 69, <laughs> the IBC. <laughs> the law states that after six months of marriage, the husband needs to put in effort to woo the wife. It's true. Which makes sense, right? Because Indian men have no game. <laughs> Our idea of foreplay is, hey, Dena. it works you know you've got to be a little romantic you've got to be a little charming you've got to work your woman right you've got to go like hey I'm going to write a book I'm going to write roses are red violets are blue there is the bed Ati kya tu But if you're having this discussion, the more important conversation here, the more important question rather, is what is the difference between marital rape and rape? Exactly. You know? And there is, isn't, there's no difference. It's the same thing, right? If there's no consent, if you're forcing yourself on your wife, it's rape. It's the same thing. Except that here she probably does hope that death will do you part. <laughs> In fact, I think marital rape is worse. Because not only are you sexually violated, you have to wake up <laughs> the next morning and make your rapist a sandwich. <laughs> you have to make him breakfast and pretend like everything is okay. That is horrible. Okay? The only benefit to marital rape if you're looking for one is that here you can't blame it on Chaumin, mobile phones, Hrithik Roshan's extra thumb. You know exactly where the fault lies. That's the rapist officer. The father of my kids, the man who promised to love me, take care of me, never hurt me. He raped me. That's how simple it is. You know, and I know some of you are wondering, okay, if marital rape is such a big deal, what are other countries in the world doing about it? Well, I'll tell you. Hashtag research. <laughs> over a hundred countries in the world have criminalized marital rape. Because apparently in over a hundred languages, no means the same thing. Right? Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to that. <laughs> Even Russia has criminalized marital rape. <laughs> like, you know you're falling behind in life. <laughs> I mean, Russia is making more progressive decisions than you are. <laughs> like, these are the guys who came up with the original char bottled vodka, okay? <laughs> and even they are going, bro, do not force yourself on your wife. Come, let us go to Boa and ruin it. <laughs> uh, what is our discussion right now is about, you know, marriage rape and, and should be criminalized or not. And just so you know, there are, there are some of the other countries who haven't criminalized marital rape, right? Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Iran, <laughs> Pakistan. Oh. Yeah, when it comes to making our women feel special, we're in the company of Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Iran, and the folks who took away Sanya Mirza. <laughs> Well done, guys. Well done. And because of this discussion, everybody is now saying it should be criminalized, should it not be criminalized. I personally think it should be criminalized. What do you guys think? You guys think it should 100%, be criminalized? Yes. It should. It should. It's a step in the right <laughs> direction. Right. It won't change anything. Nothing's going to happen because Indian law is not exactly user friendly, is it? <laughs> Indian law is like Apple Maps. <laughs> It's shit. Have you tried using Apple Maps? According to Apple Maps, Matunga is underwater. It 
India, that's true. And it shouldn't be, but still. No? <laughs> the Indian justice system takes so long, man. I mean, even, even if you were to criminalize the matter, what would you do, right? What would you do, right? You take your husband to court. Then you take 13 years to get a verdict. And then your husband will be out on bail in two hours. <laughs> and then 48 hours later, his conviction will get suspended. And then family dinners will get really awkward. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not afraid to do this joke because I don't sleep on a pavement. <laughs> Plus, I know I'm safe because it's really hard to drive an SUV all the way up to the seventh floor, you know? <laughs> but illegal or not, criminalizing it or not, you know, it's not going to go away. Mandatory is going to be here for a while, you know? Uh, let's, let's be honest about this. Because we, like, a couple of months ago, we banned uh, beef. A lot of people are still having steak. And it's not like Indian men are going to change, right? Right, guys? Are we going to change? No, right? Like, <laughs> We're not gonna change. Come on, we have it good in this country, right? We have this nice patriarchal, sexist society that we live in. It's good for us, right, guys? Oh God. Yeah? We're not gonna change. If, if anybody's gonna change, it has to be the women now, right? Right, ladies? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Finally, right? I mean, we've really pushed them, right? We've really pushed them so far. Like, this is that part of the movie where the hero has that moment of self-actualization and saves the day. That's where Indian women are today, right? That's where they are. I mean, soon they're gonna take situations into their own hands, right? Ladies, you've got to do that. Married women, be bold, be strong, do the right thing, and kill your husband. <laughs> That's right. If there's any way this is going to change, just we have to start killing Indian men now, right? Just come to that, right? If, if your husband is abusive anyway, in any way, kill him. That's right. Like, I, I know, you probably want to take the easy way out and get a divorce and all that. You know, but that becomes a very Anil Mukesh situation. <laughs> Because now you have to split your assets, then his mother will interfere. <laughs> Death is quicker. Death is amazing. It's so pure. 100% profit. <laughs> come on, I know some of you are thinking about it right now. Aren't you? you guys thinking about it. Come on, come on. Go for it. Bring out your inner Salman. Go for it. Take the top. <laughs> oh, God. Go for it. Like, you know, and you should try. I mean, kill your husband. It's not like you have to jump on his funeral pile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go, lady. It was a couple of years ago, right? Not jumping on your husband's burning body would be considered very rude and against Indian culture. But not now. We have progressed as a society, right? Now you get to stand there and watch him burn and Instagram that shit, right? Like, whatever. Just... I think my. I think the faster Indian men start dying because they don't know how to treat their women right, the faster all these problems will go away, right? Go for it ladies, kill them. I don't want to worry about getting caught. You know what I said, right? 13 years. <laughs> 13 years will lie in court. You can go on a holiday <laughs> and take his ashes with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you always wanted to go to France, na? Go. thinking right and Daniel, that's all cool but then everything it's, it's not that simple you know because uh, to do this you have to be really rich because only rich people get away with stuff like this right correct yeah don't worry HDFC has you covered yeah very soon they will have a quick bail insurance plan for moments when you murder someone or simply run over them and don't have a driver to blame it on I know that reference. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you know it. I know that reference. Just make sure you know it. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying, guys. Be careful. I mean, we've done. We've really pushed it so far, right? Just be careful. I mean, it's okay if she says no. So what? Yeah. I mean, it's okay if she says no. I mean, why do you think fishing is very popular with married men? <laughs> you think they want to spend nine hours on a boat holding a stick that's way longer than their? The problem is Indian men can't handle rejection. That's the thing. We can't handle rejection. Which is ironic because that's the one thing we should be good at. <laughs> like even me, whenever I now talk to a girl, like I always begin my conversation by saying, I know you're going to say no, but... <laughs> and the only time an Indian guy is not rejected is when he's born. <laughs> Lovely!
लुंडी इक्वल्स दहेज मैरिटल रेप इज इज नॉट दैट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड यू नो नॉट दैट वे आई मीन नॉट दैट वे आई मीन आई मीन डोंट डू इट बट it's simple to understand when you remember that just because she said i do doesn't mean you never have to ask again nice sense really nice you guys have been fantastic thank you so much thank, thank you shreya yeah to the president you will want to sub that thank you um that is a ballsy subject to take on in a stand up yeah session yeah <laughs> cuz Obviously that's that, that's up there with some of the stuff you 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 don't you don't joke about. Expe- well, especially do a whole set about. Right. Because people feel uncomfortable laughing but, but that was his whole thing. He was doing a whole tongue in cheek exactly. stick like what what do we have to worry about, right? Mm-hmm. Right? And, and that's where he was getting he was hoping to get the laughs from. Right. Or or he just wanted the oh, that's almost as satisfying sometimes for a comedian. Is yes. The uncomfortableness of the truth he was saying. Yes, right? Right. Absolutely. And he, you know, thankfully obviously from the very beginning of it, you know, he's going to be he's coming from a place where it's it's kind of obvious that marital rape is not okay. Yeah. and he's accentuating that and pointing those things out in a way to not to make light of the subject matter yeah but to make light of the idiocy behind anybody who doesn't see that yeah. rape is rape yeah yeah uh and yeah that's a that's I'm I would be interested to know um what caused him to want to do it and what it felt like doing that and how many times what his responses have been um so yeah I just for 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 me I there wasn't anything particularly that I found that was hilarious about it I think primarily because I couldn't get away from the fact that I can't believe that we live in a world where there are literally millions of men who believe that a woman is their property and is just a life support system for a vagina and that there's millions of men who think um all a woman is needed for is to be the receptacle for my penis and i don't need to do things to please her and you know that that just and and the stereotype as well like when he said the line from the woman about 80% of women have sex when they really don't want to and it's like i know that that occurs and it sucks that it does that should never be that way but yeah. well, the generalization of no that's not that it's that's not well, true and actually that shouldn't be the norm you remember that comment that we got though in in uh, from a patron on one of the episodes of Delhi Crimes she said what you have to remember is in India oftentimes sex is looked at for men as something they're entitled to right and for a woman oh. it's something that they are required required to to, to provide to provide yes right uh versus it being a mutual expression of love yeah, for each other exactly. and attraction right. uh, which is unfortunate and hopefully one day we'll get to a place well, where that is not a thing and that hap- that happens here mm. oh yeah it does that happens here it's not obviously at the level that it happens culturally with stuff in india and marital rape happens here oh 100% it is criminalized i mean rape is rape here no is no but um, the legal system is also a thing here it takes forever forever and then often they don't believe the woman correct um and so it's 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 unfortunately a thing around the world um what i i do want to applaud the guy though that is a ballsy thing that's my favorite thing about this is that that was ballsy thing very ballsy and and i think it's the whole point wasn't to be the most hilarious said ever it was no to bring a forward information and to make you uncomfortable with the and, reality of it and to talk about it cuz yeah. i know that that subject matter anywhere would be kind of taboo would be especially taboo uh in in many circles in india where you just don't talk about that subject matter so yeah what it lacks in the hilarity i don't think it needed the hilarity i didn't need to be laughing at this stand up routine it's very weird that you say that yeah. where it's like yeah i saw the stand up routine that it didn't make me laugh very much but i'm really thankful it exists it's actually almost <laughs> very similar to i feel like vir das would do something like this yeah in he terms, would cover the subject matter he would sure. cover the subject matter yeah um like that but i uh, very funny uh and very in in I'm hoping it was insightful for a lot of people um but I would like to see more from him yeah. I don't know if this is like his normal shtick if like right. this is like hard hitting subjects or if it was just this I don't know please let us know other stand up we should react to down below